Hi, my name's Dan, and in this video I'm going to talk about getting input from uh, whatever controllers you've got into your Blueprint scripts. Uh, this is the second in a short series that I'm doing about input, and in the previous one I showed you the really basic way of getting a key, uh, a key press to be activated. In this one I'm going to show you a better way, uh, and this is the recommended way of doing things. Uh, in Unreal. So I've got the same setup that I started with last time. I've got a third person blueprint and I've got a, uh, I've darkened the level a bit so we can see the effect of the light. I've got a, uh, a small blueprint class here. And in this, I've got a point light. I'm just going to move that up a little bit. And a foot plate, which is just a static mesh, and a bounding box. Um, sorry, a, a collision box, which is to detect when the player is standing on the on the foot plate or not, because we want to enable and disable the input depending on if the player is there or not. Uh, within the scripting of this that's been set up, uh, so we've got the we've got a variable down here called enabled, and if the player stands on the uh, on the foot plate. Enable is set to true, and when they step off, it's set to false. There's nothing else moving around the, the level, so the only thing that can stand on there is the player. Uh, and there's a function called toggle light, uh, and all that does is check whether enabled is true, and then if it is, it allows the visibility of the light to be toggled so that, that light can be toggled on and off. Okay. So we're not going to start in here. We're going to start in the settings. Uh, so we're going to go to the project settings, which is where you can set up control systems uh, in a better way. Uh, so we're just going to click that. It's within engine and it's input here. Um, and there are two kinds of, uh, the bindings is the bit that we want. There are two kinds of bindings. There's action mappings and there's axis mappings. So axis mappings are for uh, joysticks and things like that where you have a variable number uh, and action mappings are where it's just an on or on off and so that can that can just trigger an on off kind of thing and that's what we want because we're just going to be using uh, a key to enable us to switch this light on and off so if I, I click on that triangle next to it and we can see there's already a couple of actions mapped here there's a jump uh, that's mapped and there's uh, a reset VR that's been mapped in there, which is to do with virtual reality. So we're going to ignore that. But we're not going to mess with the jump either. So what we're going to do is we're going to add uh, an action mapping. And this would allow us to uh, create an action mapping that would be applicable in all, all sorts of situations within our level. And the common uh, thing to use for, uh, for interacting something with something is the E key in Unreal. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this the activate action. And we're going to tell it which key we want. Um, and so down here there's loads of options. So uh, the the beauty of this is, I'll just get the E key. Uh, the beauty of this is that you can set up your control systems so that they work on many different uh, devices. Uh, so as you see here, we've got game pads, we've got keyboard, mouse, motion, touch, all sorts of different, you've got specific things for PS4, for Xbox One, uh, for the Oculus uh, VR system, uh, and all sorts of that. So this allows us to, to separate the idea of what the controller is from the effect that that controller has within the game or the control. Um, I'm just going to use keys here. Uh, because I've got a, a PC and that's what I'm using. But what I am going to do is uh, it off there. input. Come on. I'm not quite sure what's happened there. I've closed that down. There we go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, add another one. So I'm going to have two keys to do the same thing, just to show you that functionality. So what I need to do is to click on this plus sign here that's next to the name of the, the action that I want. So it adds an action mapping, so it maps another control to this action. Um, and in this case, I'm going to use Enter, which seems like a, a reasonable thing to use uh, in the circumstances. So I've got 
uh, two keys here. You can also uh, specify that if you want it to be shifty, controly, alty, commandy, any combination of those, you just click the buttons as you want them uh, to be. So that's that bit done. We've got an action mapping for activate. We don't need to do any saving or compiling with those settings. That is automatically set up. So we just need to go in here. Now, as before, uh, we've got an issue, which is that our blueprint isn't set up to uh, take input. So we need to do the uh, enable input. And uh, this needs to have a reference to the player controller in it. Player controller. Which is fairly straightforward. And the other variable that's in is a reference to self, so it knows which particular class it's enabling input on, which is this one. So when this um, uh, when this class is loaded up, as the level is loaded and play is hit, then it will uh, run the script to enable the input. Uh, and then all we need to do is to find that action and we want the event. What did we call it? It's, uh, activate. Activate, and there it is, it's appeared, and it looks like an event. Um, and it's in fact input action activate. And there's a couple of um, drag offable pins here one is for when it's pressed, and one for, it's, for when it's released. Sometimes you want things to work when you release a key rather than when you press a key. Uh, that's just down to the, the interaction. You're wanting, and also you can get it to tell you which key it was that's been pressed. If a key's been pressed, anyway, we're going to just take her off the pressed here and uh, we're going to find that uh, toggle light. And then we're going to compile this and we're going to test this out. Uh, so this should work exactly like the previous one did. Um, press the E key, nothing's happening. That's because I'm not stood on the footplate. So I stand on the footplate, press the E key, the light goes on. I press the enter key, the light goes off, E, enter, enter, E, etc. So I've got two keys doing the same thing. One thing to mention is that although this was fairly simple and straightforward, this isn't ideal because what we're doing is we're handling the input inside the blueprint for the switch. It's a better programming uh, practice to handle all your input inside your player controller. I've just done it inside your blueprint here for, um, for simplicity's sake, because I didn't want to go through her whole process of dealing with uh, contacting the right blueprint from the controller and working out where you are and what things are going on. I wanted to focus just on enabling this input and making it work. Uh, but anyway, there we have it. We've got um, input using the input mapping, and that's it from me for now.